Information on OpenAI's next AI model has been leaked, and after OpenAI's recently released official statement on the prospects and dangers of artificial general intelligence, things are heating up fast. AGI is not far away, and according to Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, it's important that we get it right very soon as the next releases of their products like ChatGPT2 are close to release. As the world embraces ChatGPT, the AI chatbot developed by OpenAI, Altman warns that we're not far from potentially scary AI tools, which is not a coincidence judging from industry specialists and leakers. The development of artificial general intelligence comes with serious risks, including misuse, accidents, and societal disruption. In this video, we'll discuss the never-before-heard-of features of the next-generation AI models from OpenAI, the importance of auditing AI chatbots independently before they reach the masses, and limiting the rate of growth of compute used for creating new models. We'll also explore the potential benefits of AGI, its potential to revolutionize robotics, and finally, how OpenAI is working to create increasingly aligned and steerable models. So buckle up and get ready to learn more about the future of AI. Recently, leakers have revealed that OpenAI is about to release the next few AI models. Some even speculate that among them, there is one that is close to artificial general intelligence, which is a type of AI that can perform any intellectual task that a human can. This may sound exciting, but especially according to OpenAI themselves, it also comes with serious risks. It's important to keep in mind that while AGI is certain to disrupt our society in many positive ways, it will also likely cause drastic accidents and lead to misuse. What's interesting is that soon after the leakers revealed the upcoming AI models, OpenAI started talking about the dangers of AGI. This sudden shift in tone is significant, and it indicates that OpenAI is taking the risks seriously, and there's actually a good chance that a program close to AGI is close to release, or at the very least viewable in the distance. They understand that AGI can have a significant impact on our world, and they're working hard to get it right. One of the ways OpenAI is doing this is by developing AI models that are aligned and steerable, in other words, they're working on creating AI models that can be controlled and directed by humans. This is important because it means that we can ensure that the AI is used for good and not for harm. But let's get back to ChatGPT. As you may know, ChatGPT is an AI chatbot developed by OpenAI that's been taking the world by storm. It's been used for a wide range of applications, including writing codes, copywriting and content creation, customer support, and even writing essays and poems. And now, OpenAI is working on releasing ChatGP2, which is expected to have even more advanced features compared to its predecessor. Some of the potential new features of ChatGPT2 include better language understanding, improved natural language processing, and even more accurate predictions. It's also expected to have a wider range of applications, making it even more useful for businesses and individuals alike. One of those new abilities is supposedly its ability to be put into robots to steer their decision-making, similar to what Google has been doing this past year. More on this in the next chapter. But with the potential benefits of AI comes the risk of misuse. And that's why OpenAI is emphasizing the importance of auditing AI chatbots independently before they're released to the public. This is crucial because it means that we can ensure that the AI is safe to use and won't cause any harm. Another way OpenAI is minimizing the risks of AI is by limiting the rate of growth of compute used for creating new models. This means that they're controlling how fast AI models can be developed, which can help prevent accidents and misuse. OpenAI also believes that public standards about when an AGI effort should stop a training run, decide a model is safe to release, or pull a model from production use are important and they're working towards ensuring that major world governments have insight about training runs above a certain scale. This is crucial because it means that we can ensure that AI is developed in a responsible and safe manner. OpenAI is working hard to develop AI models that are aligned and steerable, and they're emphasizing the importance of auditing AI chatbots independently before they're released to the public. With the upcoming release of ChatGPT2 in around April, we can expect even more advanced features and a wider range of applications. 
but we must also keep in mind the risks of AGI and work towards developing AI in a responsible and safe manner. The next generation of large language AI models is about to finally change robotics in an exciting manner. But it's not just OpenAI that's pushing the boundaries of AI. Other companies, such as Google, have also been working on combining next-generation language models with robotics to make them more intelligent and adaptable to the world around them. Imagine a robot that could not only move around and perform tasks, but could also understand natural language and communicate with humans in a more human-like way. That's the kind of thing that next-gen language models could make possible. And it's not just about robots. Natural language processing could also revolutionize the way we interact with all kinds of devices, from smartphones to home assistants. With the ability to understand and respond to natural language, these devices could become even more intuitive and user-friendly. Google's large language model robotics project called Do As I Can, Not As I Say, grounding language in robotic affordances, researchers present a novel approach that combines advanced language model knowledge with robots. Developed in partnership with Everyday Robots, the new method enables a physical agent, such as a robot, to follow high-level textual instructions for physically grounded tasks, while grounding the language model in tasks that are feasible within a specific real-world context. They call this approach Palm Say Can. Palm Say Can selects skills based on what the language model scores as useful to the high-level instruction and what the affordance model scores as possible. The system can be seen as a dialogue between the user and robot, facilitated by the language model. The user gives an instruction that the language model turns into a sequence of steps for the robot to execute. This sequence is filtered using the robot skill set to determine the most feasible plan given its current state and environment. But with great power comes great responsibility. As OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has warned, the development of AGI comes with serious risks. And it's not just the possibility of misuse or accidents that we need to worry about. There's also the question of how AI will impact society as a whole. As AI becomes more advanced and more integrated into our lives, it could have far-reaching consequences that we can't even imagine yet. That's why it's so important for companies like OpenAI to take the risks of AGI seriously and work to mitigate them. By developing more aligned and steerable models and by implementing safeguards like independent audits and public standards, we can help ensure that the benefits of AI are realized without putting society at undue risk. And while there are certainly risks associated with AGI, there's also a huge potential upside with the ability to think and reason like humans, AI could help us solve some of the most pressing problems facing our world today, from climate change to global poverty. So, what does the future hold for AI? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, as the technology continues to advance, we'll need to stay vigilant and proactive in order to ensure that the benefits of AI are realized while minimizing the risks. As for ChatGPT2, the leaked information suggests that it will have even more advanced features than its predecessor. For example, it may be able to understand and interpret images as well as text, allowing it to generate more realistic and nuanced responses. It may also have improved memory and reasoning capabilities, allowing it to engage in more complex conversations and tasks. And of course, it will be able to generate even more accurate and natural-sounding text, making it an even more valuable tool for a wide range of applications. Overall, the future of AI is exciting and full of possibilities, but as we move forward, we must always keep in mind the potential risks and work to mitigate them as much as possible. Only then can we ensure that the benefits of AI are realized for everyone. Now, the question remains, will ChatGPT2 and GPT4 be accessible for everyone or will they be limited to certain users or companies? There are advantages and disadvantages to both scenarios. On one hand, making these language models accessible to everyone could democratize access to advanced AI technology and open up a whole new world of possibilities. Imagine students being able to use ChatGPT2 to write better essays, or small businesses using GPT4 to generate high-quality marketing copy without the need for expensive human writers. This could level the playing field and give smaller entities a chance to compete with larger, more established players. On the other hand, 
Making these language models widely available could also lead to misuse and abuse. We've already seen how AI-generated deepfakes can be used to spread misinformation and propaganda, and making it easier for anyone to create convincing fake content could have serious consequences. Additionally, there could be concerns about privacy and security if these models are used to generate text that is meant to be private or confidential. Ultimately, it's up to OpenAI to decide how they want to make these models available. They could choose to make them freely accessible to anyone, or they could choose to only license them to certain users or companies. They may also implement certain safeguards or restrictions to prevent misuse or abuse. It's worth noting that OpenAI has already made some of their models available to the public, albeit in a limited capacity. GPT-3 is currently available through an API that developers can use to build applications, but it's not something that the average person can easily access. It's possible that a similar model could be used for chat GPT-2 and GPT-4. In conclusion, the potential combination of next-generation language models with robots is exciting but also raises important ethical concerns. As we continue to develop artificial intelligence and move closer to AGI, it is crucial that we prioritize safety and ethical considerations to avoid negative consequences. While ChatGPT2 and future AI models may have incredible potential to improve our lives, we must also consider accessibility. It's important to ask whether or not everyone will have access to these advanced AI tools and what the advantages and disadvantages of this might be. Will it be a tool for everyone to benefit from, or will it only be available to those who can afford it? We need to ensure that the benefits of AGI and advanced AI are accessible to all, and not just reserved for the privileged few. As we move towards a future where robots and AGI become more prevalent, it is important that we consider the impact on society as a whole. We must address the potential for disruption and ensure that we are prepared for the changes that advanced AI will bring. It is an exciting time to be exploring the possibilities of AGI and AI, but we must remain mindful of the potential risks and take steps to ensure that we create a future that benefits everyone. Thank you so much for continuing your support in our quest to deliver the best future science videos on all of YouTube. See you around next time and take care.